Yosemite, Death Valley, Hawaii volcanoes. As the landscape changes, your breath is literally taken away and that's really what makes the national park special for us. draws us to doing these longer form types of travel has always been that feeling of being completely free. But the other part is financial. You know, if you go on a one week vacation to let's say Hawaii, you're gonna spend thousands of dollars on airline tickets and hotel accommodations. If you do a longer form sort of quote unquote vacation, but really not a vacation, more of a lifestyle, um, you're gonna get a lot more value every day out of your dollars spent. This trip really wouldn't have been possible in the same way financially if we hadn't been sleeping in a van every night. Um, the lodging costs would have probably increased by somewhere in the vicinity of like $15,000 across the course of the trip if we didn't have the van. You want to have an income on a long-term trip like this. For us, I worked my, my job that I already had full-time, I worked it part-time from the road. Uh, Lauren found a freelance gig doing social media management. We both do photography freelance and we actually found some clients along the way using social media and using existing connections. Also we rented out our condo while we were gone. The largest single spending category on this trip was charter planes to get to some of the deeply uh, wildernessy parks that are really far from the rest of society, uh, especially in Alaska and also like getting to American Samoa, the Virgin Islands. So we actually did a calculation of what our trip would have been like if we just cut out the most expensive parks to visit and it reduces the total cost of the trip by over 40%. So we signed up for a One Planet Fitness membership for 20 bucks a month that allowed both of us to use the gym and take a shower pretty much anywhere in the United States. Being able to shower at Planet Fitness cuts the cost of the trip down by a lot because um, a lot of times when people have like a big RV that has a shower actually built into it, first of all, the RV costs a lot more in the first place. But secondly, you're looking for campgrounds with hookups and stuff every night, and that can cost upwards of $30 a night. You're not allowed to sleep in your car in any national park outside the campgrounds. And the campgrounds typically cost money. You know, we would spend all day, stay into the night to take pictures or something like that, and then head out um, in the middle of the night for a place that would allow us to stay in the van. And we found ourselves sleeping at a nearby, you know, travel stop or Walmart. We're both actually vegan, and a lot of places have been coming out with vegan protein options this year. Taco Bell, Carl's Jr., because they came out with the Beyond Burger. We, we mostly tried to find options that we could feel good about eating regularly because of their price point and because they had enough nutrition for us. <laughs> So, you know, another um, big area of spending for a lot of people is entertainment, but being on this trip, um, you know, our entertainment was being outside the van and enjoying nature, being in the na national parks themselves um, and enjoying what they have to offer. And so I think that really kept costs low as well. Mm -hmm.